Today I'll be talking about three ways to diagnose a possible ECU issue with your vehicle. The first thing you want to do is run a diagnostic tool on your car. There are many errors that indicate a possible problem with your ECU. However, here are some of the most common ones we see in our experience. The first major category is airflow related. These can include things such as valvetronic errors, intake manifold switching, sensors, and the secondary air control valve. Up next is fuel injection. These include the injection valves, throttles, and the injector voltage. Third is your ECU DME specific errors. Most of these will be along the lines of memory or functional disorders. There are also miscellaneous errors that include things such as sensors and communication errors. Next, you will need to retrieve the ECU from the car itself. Please keep the following in mind. One, turn your car off and remove the key from the ignition. Two, remove the negative terminal from the battery before removing the ECU. Three, remove the ECU once all power is off and the battery is disconnected. When you have it in hand, you want to perform a visual inspection. Make sure to look at it from all angles and check to see if there are any obvious signs of water damage. Make sure to check out the pins and confirm they don't look oxidized, broken, or bent. Next, you would want to bring up the plastic connector up to your nose and smell it. If it smells burnt, then that is a good sign that you will need to send it in to us for a repair. We need your unit for one to two business days, after which we will ship it back to you for free via USPS Priority anywhere in the United States, and all of our work is provided by a one-year warranty. We also provide service to our international customers. Please call us at 888-723-2080 or contact us via our website.